I'm Luke. This is Emil. This is Avery. We're talking about sports on the Sports Talk channel. So one thing that has we've been talking about is what is going on with the Celtics? What is this offseason going to be, Emil? Well, they've already made some big moves in acquiring Malcolm Brogdon and Danilo Gallinari. Gallinari is a stretch four and shoot from wherever. He's a veteran leader that... Um, uh, it's really helpful to the Celtics team. He has the experience, and Rodgen is a guy who doesn't turn the ball over much, and he's a, he was he's a good shooter, and I feel like he could be a great sixth man for the Celtics team. Um, about the KD stuff, I really don't f- think that's gonna fall through. It was the rumor was not from the Celtics side; it was either from the Nets side to bring up KD value or from KD to apply more pressure to other teams wanting to make offers for him. And I feel like if the Nets haven't done anything with KD right now, they're not going to do anything with him. Okay. So, um, and that's my take. if I'm not wrong, Daniel Gallinari came from the Spurs, and he was very good there. Yeah, so. well, like I said, it's a dead-eye shooter. Uh, he has experience, and he just knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Avery, what are your thoughts on this uh, offseason? I, I think that um, uh, um, that this KD things are uh, – um, uh, just a rumor. I don't think it's gonna happen, like Emil said. I think that um, uh, um, uh, Malcolm um, again um, is a really good player. I just he's just very injury prone. That, mm-hmm. That's something we have to keep an eye on. Looks like we have a question right there. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, uh, big fan of the show. Thanks for taking my question. Um, I want to know what you guys uh, uh, where where you guys want to see Durant go this season. Though you talked about how you don't think he's gonna leave Brooklyn because of all the, the different situations going on, but where, where would you like to see him? I'd like to see, I, I'd like to see him land with the Phoenix Suns. I think that would be a really good, like, really good thing for them. Like, I know I know everybody is like, oh, yeah, but you have Chris Paul. He is that nickname, whatever. He doesn't live up to the nickname. He has not been to the finals in so long. I think Kevin Durant could definitely improve that team. With Devin Booker, we don't know what happened to DeAndre Ayton. We don't know if he's going to be back. We don't know what happened with him. So I think he would be a really good fit for the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I think um, uh, um, um, Durant, uh, he's getting a really high pay right now. I think um, uh, he, um, he doesn't care about his pay as much. He wants to win a championship. I could see him go, going to a championship contender, maybe Boston, I don't think so, personally. Maybe Golden State, possibly, I don't think so again. I don't think Golden State's going to ha- um, have the money to af- um, afford it. They, 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 they probably want to get younger, and, st- and I don't know how much longer Steph Curry will be around. I don't, I don't know if you guys agree with this, but... There's a thing with KD. He's asked for the Celtics to get him. They would need to trade Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Derek White, and some draft picks. So what I think is I don't think that's all worth it because we know KD. If he's not happy where he is, oh, what do you know? He wants a trade. So then that would leave the Celtics with one all-star in a team that I don't know how it would play out, so I don't think it's a good idea for yeah. KD to go to Celtics. Yeah, well, also, I feel like KD, um, his reputation is a title chaser. Um, I feel like he would want to avoid going to a championship contender team like the Celtics because he tried to get rid of the title chaser reputation and move into Brooklyn. And that didn't work out. And I feel like if the Celtics um, trade for KD, it would rip. Up, it would get them a title, sure, but it would uh, break up the young core. And we got to keep in mind though that Kevin Durant is one of the best players on earth. And he has been since two thousand seven. We were drafted. Yeah, he's a thousand percent worth it. Um, if you get him like brown, white, and a couple picks, he's definitely worth it. But is Smart worth it? Like Smart was never in the talks. He is now. Oh, he I, is I was now? listening. I was listening to who it was. It was like Felger and Maz earlier, and they were talking about this trade. And 
and the package was like smart and whatever. Okay, we don't have that much time. If you don't know, we have um, people who like to pass out on the show. Just happened. We're going to need to call an ambulance. We'll see you next time. I'm Luke. He's Emil. He's Avery on sports.